Welcome back to Eureka Farms for episode 6 with me, Mr. Sealy P. As you've just seen, I have done a few more contracts. My money's gone up. I did a couple of harvest ones, which paid out very nicely on top of the, the price for the actual contract. I've taken another contract for harvesting on field 13, so that will pay me out a little bit more. That's soybean too. There's another harvest one there, a little bit smaller, and some cultivating jobs. But what I have done, my field of barley on field 3 here was ready to harvest, which I've done, and I've left the swaths on the floor. Now, I was going to collect these with that monster loading wagon but i've already used it for doing grass and a few people said to me oh you need to use the baler try the baler out so what we will be doing is using the baler on the straw i don't know how much straw we're going to have i don't know how many bales it's going to make i haven't used it yet i haven't tried it yet but i've got 227,000 liters of barley which we're going to go and take and sell now and then i'm going to take on that other contract so you won't need to worry about that old probably see you in the morning i'm not going to do the bailing now because it will it suddenly gets dark kind of pretty quickly actually but the money is up i wanted to do a load of contracts because i said i was going to buy the new holland t9 that i leased so the leased one has gone back and i will be buying one for myself so next time i see you will probably be in the morning i will probably have done a few more contracts and i will probably own the t9 and then we're going to have a crack at some balmy bailing, I think, is what we're going to be doing. That's at least the plan. I think this is where the best price was for the barley. It's going up. Perfect. I will see you in the morning. It's 7.34 in the morning, and as you've probably seen again, I did some more contracting. Why wouldn't I? I'm having fun using all the uh, the larger scale equipment. But it does mean, as of this morning, that we have got an absolute ton of jobs we can be getting on with. The first one is going to be a bit of balmy baling. The bunker silo is done fermenting, so we need to get the silage out of there and put that into storage. Grass should have regrown again, which means I can cut grass again. Thank you to everyone that commented about the fact that Chrome Big M can do, um, <coughs> excuse me, fast farming. So I could, but I, you know, in fairness, I was leaving that to get on with mowing while I was doing other jobs. But thank you for the comments. We'll get a bit of fast farming done. I did buy the New Holland, so the other one went back. I raised enough money, I was up over a million, bought the New Holland. So I've now got the T9 on the special tracks. I am going to use the lorry rather than the tractor for the simple reason that the baler that comes on this map by TNT says it runs at 59 miles an hour. Well, the New Holland tractor doesn't go up to 59 miles an hour, so to utilise it to its fullest potential, it makes sense. Now, it also does say it's got a wide pickup. I don't know, like it was with the loading wagon, how wide that pickup is. I have also leased an auto load bale trailer because well we're going to need that i want to try the baler i was going to use the loading wagon to collect the straw swaths but a lot of people say oh, you've got to try the baler you know do some bales but i had a message from lee who did say to me you know it's not something i would have thought of trying was the silo wood that i've got two of by omatana actually takes square bales so it will take the square bales and obviously once it's put it in there that then automatically becomes loose material because when you come to take it back out again it's not going to come back out as bales um, so I can still bale and then still get my loose material into the silos provided that works I mean that's what Lee said I'll give it a go why not so I've got <laughs> that manufacturer again this is part of the map this is not a standalone mod this is part of this map you'll find it under baling technology so the LSB 1290D wide pickup, 140 horsepower, 4,000 litre bales, says it runs at 49 miles per hour. So wide, wide pickup and runs much faster. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed and I'll put the, there's not a link, but I'll put the, hopefully the, the description in the description for the RAT 200. That's a pretty large bale loading trailer. So I've grabbed one of those as well for collecting the bales later. I want to do something with that. I want to do some fast silage work. 
which I'll do with the new Lizard STP STB 03P. We'll have a bit of a fiddle around with that at some point as well because of the quirk that has. So like I say, I don't know how this is going to run. I don't know what it does. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it bails. I know it, bail, it will bail quickly. I don't know how wide the pickup is. And then is it just going out to the right like the other one was or is it both sides? Again, I, I really don't know. My sugarcane is also ready to harvest. So not only have I got silage to collect, grass to cut, baling to do, I have taken on the harvest contract, but my uh, sh sugar cane is ready to go. So I say sugar beet, sugar cane. I can't remember what's in there. So what we'll do is unfold this. Uh, I don't know really which way to go about it. I'll run up this swath and we'll see if it goes either side. Turn it on, drop it down. So it's picking up from there. How wide is the... Right, it's not going to the left. But it is going to the right, so it's going to be one of those. So if I just run up this one first. So the pickup is wide, out to the right. And because I can go up to... <laughs> oh, this map. Oh, I love it. Oh, blimey, Governor. That is absolutely unbelievable. Right. Turn that off. So what we'll do is run up the left-hand side of the field and just see how far across that goes. We are going to get an absolute load of bales. So if I go just to the side of the swath, that way I won't miss any. How far? Probably go half the field, won't it? Oh, no, it does four. Five, about five. Look how fast those bells are coming out. <laughs> oh, dear me. What a world we live in. I just can't stop laughing and smiling. Oh dear. Okay, so. How many bells have we graded so far? Let's go across. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I did. 56 bales already. Oh, we could hit our 200 limit, couldn't we? That's a bit worrying. So I'm going to come across. I've still got a little bit there. If I gather that bit up. Come on. Three, four, five. Put two on top of each other there. Yeah. Just got a bit clogged up. Right, it's doing. No, why did I go five? It was four, wasn't it? It was doing. Sorry. Apologies for that for those people that are now crossing me. It was four, you idiot. You did four swaths, not five. What are you playing at? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to all those people. Oh, we'll get more than one job done. I did, honestly didn't know how long this was going to take. But it's not going to take very long at all, is it? Let's be honest. Right, so this should go up to 50, 59 miles now. Let's see how far up it will go. Look at the bells coming out the back of there. So fast they're just falling on top of each other. They cannot keep up. 40. About 40 is what we're managing. Whoa. Ho, ho. Yeah, that was too many bells for that to cope with, wasn't it? Farm dog lost his mind over that. I know what I'm going to do. I'm actually... It does say it'll go up to 59. But getting up to 40, the baler just couldn't, didn't seem to want to keep up. 
So I'm going to go. I'm going to go and grab the tractor because that will still mean I can bail up to the top speed of the tractor, and it should mean the bales aren't tripping over themselves trying to come out. We're up to 95, 95 bales already. In how long that was? Minutes, wasn't it? It wasn't wasn't long at all. So it just gives us a chance to use the new New Holland. Yeah, the grass is all regrown here. We can get out again. What I'm also trying to do by doing all the contracts on the side is buy all the bits of equipment that at the moment I'm leasing. So what I want to do is buy my own cultivator. The plough's mine. I'm leasing the loading wagon. And I want to buy my own cedar and seed cart. Whether I might go for the big borgo. I haven't really decided whether I'll go for the big, big borgo or the one down. But I'll go for a Paralink hoe drill. Because I want to own all my own stuff. So let's give this a go. T9700. I like it. I think it's cool. So we'll be bailing at 24 miles an hour. Not quite 59. But like I said, I think that kind of tempers it down a little bit. It's still bailing way faster than we would do normally. And because the pickup is so goes out so far, it doesn't really matter. Because we're doing four swaths at a time. Now obviously that will depend as well on the size of harvester you're using, the size of header you're using, because obviously the narrower the header, the closer together the swaths will be, in which case you could be picking up five or six swaths. So, uh, yeah, I mean, at the moment, because I've, I'm using the widest header, I'm only managing to pick up four, but you may be getting five or six, depending on the size of your header you're using, if you decide to. You may not be on this map, but, you know, I just think it's... <laughs> It's just brilliant. It's great fun. That's the thing about it. It's that kind of... Well, I've said it so many times before. I don't say it again. It's just the zaniness. We are balmy bailing. Right. Let's see if this is a bit more sedate, shall we? Turn it on. Let's go again. Four swaths. That's better. It's coping a bit bit better at that speed, isn't it? We're up to 20, 21. Even at, even at that, you can see the bales come at the back. It's sort of every now and again, if one gets caught up, it's tripping over itself. 22. That's good enough for me. More than happy with that. And then we'll grab the auto load trailer and we'll come and pick them up. That's going to put us somewhere around 150. Oh, that's interesting. First run was 56, then it took us to 95, now 131. Oh, mind you, we did say we'd have a few here, didn't we? Because we overlapped by a little bit. If we hit the limit, we'll have to go and collect them first and then bring them back. So let's do another four. I love they just pop out the back. Boom! Check again, 168. <laughs> ah. So we are going to have more than 200 bales in one field though. Let's chuck them all over the shop. Mustn't, mustn't miss any. Okay, okay, calm down. Craziness. There we go, right. We've hit our 200, so what I'll do is let's stop there. 
And let's try the next part of this. That's awesome. Yeah, so the problem you've got is if you run it faster, you think, okay, running faster will allow them to come off the back faster. But the problem is because you're collecting so much at such a speed, I think it's just it, it just cannot keep up. But it has made things a lot quicker. <laughs> I don't think about again. That's going to be the, the the phrase of this let's play, isn't it? On Eureka Farms, I have never done bales that quickly. I've never done that many bales so quickly. I've never hit my 200 limit so fast on any map on Farming Simulator 19 on console. Just haven't. And again, there'll be the PC guys watching, going, "Oh, I've done that before, and we've had, we've got this, and we've got that," and that's the point. TNT modding has brought this to console gamers. It's you know given us the chance to experience that that madness. So uh, I'm going to go and grab the lorry, go and grab that bale loading trailer. I'll be back with you momentarily. I decided to grab the pickup instead. Go still a bit quicker from A to B. Like I did mention before though, I have found, depending on what's hooked onto the back of this, the front axle can get a little bit light and it can get a little bit floaty at speed. I've put it into its operating position, so what we should be able to do, I think this trailer does 40 or 44. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Collecting bales at 45 miles now. <laughs> is the magic number let's get those back so that's going to be five runs to get us to our limit so five runs backwards and forwards that's a lot of straw now if this does work as Lee suggested we should take this to the silo and when we because at the moment they're ethereal bales because it's an auto load trailer they're on but kind of only sort of and then when we make them proper bales the, the silo should take them if it doesn't all I'll do is I'll stack them down by the side and then we'll use um, a feed mixer and we'll just sling them all into a feed mixer and turn them to loose product because I need to be able to have more than 200 bales because as you've already seen I've got more straw to collect so I can't leave them just sitting out Let's cut across to the silo. Now I want all my product to be stored in the first silo. What we'll probably do as well before the end of this episode is we'll grab the loading wagon and we'll unload. Big Daddy was the first person that suggested this to me about using the loading wagon and said you can actually empty the bunker silo because the loading wagon will do silage. If I open up the bunker silo, unblank it, I can actually use that loading wagon to collect it and that will hold 500,000 litres. So again, it will be that. It will be the quickest I've unloaded a, a, a silage clamp ever. Now, will this work? That's the question. Will it put these into storage without having to worry? Off the trailer. So L1 triangle, L1 triangle. Bom, 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 bom. What we should find now is in here under our straw. We should have. 160,000 litres of straw in uh, storage. So the beauty of that being that when I um, when I come to collect that out of there, that will be loose product. Now, would it have been quicker using the loading wagon? Well, yeah, the loading wagon holds 500,000 litres. I could have whizzed up and down the field, but then I would have missed out on using the baler. For all the people that said, oh, you've got to use the baler, it's mad. It is mad. And I'm glad I did. But in using the baler, it has also showed the thing that Lee said, that even if you do bale, you can put them into that particular silo. I don't know not all silos take bales. But that will then automatically turn them into a loose product. So what I'm going to do now is collect up all the rest of the bales, finish off baling that field, and we'll see how much we end up with in the silo. I may need to do some more straw at some other time. I'm just trying to work out each load's going to be 160,000. We'll have five loads to start off with. 
Oh, we'll be we'll be up well up over a million liters, won't we? Oh, that'd be all right. Cool. Right, let's carry on doing this. I'll see you in a bit when this is done, and then what we'll do is uh, let's empty the, the bunker silo too. There'll be two of our products. Straw. And now, like I said before, I don't necessarily. Uh, what do I want to do? Triangle then square. There we go. Sorry, L. That's L1 triangle then L1 square to do it from transport position back to operating position. Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily need straw to make total mix ration, but I am going to use it to pad the mix out so I can get more total mix ration. I just think it will—it makes just more sense for me. So, um, on my six ashes let's play, I've been making all my total mix ration with just silage and hay. So then the next pr uh, production I need to do is hay. I'll do a load of mowing. We'll do a load of collection, uh, collection tedding. And then we'll collect the hay. The hay will then go into the silo too. And then at some point, so we'll have sugar cane to do. We'll have total mix ration to make. Once I've got a load of total mix ration on hand, I'm going to then get the cow pasture. We'll get an absolute load of cows. I'm going to have a look through and see what other bits of equipment there are that I haven't used yet. There's a big auger wagon that I haven't used yet. There's a few bits of bobs. Just trying to, trying to utilise and use all the stuff. Oh, we're at 40 already. Blame that happened quickly. Yeah, we're going to try and utilise all the gear that TNT's put on here for us to have a bit of a play with. That's the plan. Just gone quarter past eight. Fill three is cleared. I miscalculated. I, I think because oh, I rounded up. In my, head, in my head, I was thinking 200 bales, 40 each load. That's five loads. About 200,000 litres each time. It wasn't. It's 160,000 litres each time. So I think we ended up with 187, 187, 872,000 litres of straw off that field, cleared, put into the silo in. What was it? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Something like that? Now, let's check this out, shall we? Bonkers, bunker, bashing and bales. Maybe that should be the title for the episode. If this works the same way, this will be absolutely crazy. So, just over 2 million litres in there. This holds 500,000 litres. I could clear it in just over four loads, if it, if it does it the way it says it's going to. 
or the way people have told me it's going. It's whether or not, once I've unfolded, whether it will do the rest for me as I go. That's the question. Will this work? So, let's jump across the hitch there. Let's open the silo. And let's see, shall we? Turn that on. Drop it down. <laughs> Do I have to open it again or am I going to have to go over it with something? Oh, that's annoying. I might need something with a bucket. I might have to... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, it's going to require me to go over it with something, isn't it? Right, it will work. Just bear with me a second. I really do need to buy myself one of these. I don't have a wheel loader on here yet. Perfect, right. Turn that thing back. Tip all that out. I could have done it with anything, it didn't have to be a wheel loader, but. And to be fair, I did get it fairly smooth, didn't I, when I finished it all off? Got it all into the silo, got it all finished off nicely. Turn that off. Beacon off. Strobe bar. Right, let's get this done as I intended. It was going to be a straight shot through. I should have just done that first, really. But it is working. We've already un unloaded 78,000 litres. Right. <laughs> Look at that. That is absolutely nuts. Although I'm only travelling at one mile an hour, that's with my I'm accelerating as hard as I possibly can at the moment. There we go. Five hundred thousand litres. Emptied already. You think of all the silaging jobs I've done, all the contracts I've done and all the various different on different let's plays, the time it takes to empty a bunker silo, especially if you're gonna sell it at the, at the biogas plant. But taking it out of there to put into storage, 500,000 litres at a time, being able to unload the side. I thought even if I had to use a conveyor belt, and, but use this loading wagon, it, well, that's fantastic. The loading wagon holds, holds 500,000 litres, so it can just sit there while the, the conveyor belt chugs away, but you don't even have to worry with that. This will go into the same silo. Just over four trips, and we'll be done. I'm definitely going to need to do probably a couple of loads. I'm thinking for hay, I need double the amount of hay I've got everything else. At the moment, I'm going to have double the amount of silage to straw. I definitely need to have double the amount of hay. So, depends how I want to go about doing this. If I double the amount of hay to silage, I'm going to need four million litres of hay. Or I do double the amount of straw and just have a load of silage left over. So I only need 2 million litres of hay. I'm better off just going big. I think if I do a few different, you know, over a few days, let the grass regrow, cut it all again, do another field on field three, I'll probably do wheat this time or something called oats. Let that field grow again. I mean, that took me, what, 20 minutes to. Bale, bale it all, collect all the bales, get it all off the field. That's a no-brainer. You know, I can do another load of straw. Silage I'm going to be right for for a little while. But again, there's nothing to stop me. Oh, I could do a big old silage harvest, couldn't I? Just thinking, hang on a minute. Under forage harvester headers, if I've got the tool height control... We have got, haven't we? Because I used it before. That's what I used, didn't I, when I did the, the harvest before. If I do a massive field, 
of corn and do a huge silage harvest using one of those faster headers, we could get masses of silage. Yeah, hmm, okay. Got a few options. See, my mind's now going, oh, oh, what can I do? <laughs> I might do that off screen though. We might, do, we might do some of it on screen, some of it off screen. Just thinking, fill one of those bunk silos. I think they hold about 5 million litres, according to a lot of people. I mean, I don't, I don't think for a long time I'm going to top my silage harvester that I did on Stone Valley. I think all in combined with all the silos I had, what did it work out in the end? 14 million litres or something I had on the hand? It was something like that, wasn't it? It was a crazy amount. Yeah, it's going to take a serious amount of work to, to beat that. If I filled both of these silos, that would only be 10 million. Only. That's it. it would only be 10 million. What would be the point of only doing 10 million litres? How do I turn around here the first time and then make such a mess of it the second time? I just don't know. The worker was... Uh, fertilising. Filled three for me. I know when you hire a worker it overlaps, but I thought just for the sake of being able to leave it running, yes, I've probably used twice as much fertiliser as I needed to, but in all honesty, that first 250,000 litres of fertiliser I bought from the... Oh, is that it? <laughs> Already? I'm thinking, oh, blimey, it's one mile out. We've already got 500,000 litres. Um, yeah, from the CNS and Marie silo, cost me 20 grand. So even if on a couple of fields while I'm doing some other work, it doubles up on the amount of fertiliser it uses, I think I've still got over 200,000 litres in that fertiliser spreader, and I have been fertilising everything. All the contracts I've done, my own fields, it's just going to last for absolutely ages. And even if I emptied it, it's going to cost me 20 grand to fill it up again, so... Ha! 20 grand? Whoa! I can make that easily on a... Again, it's that, it's that knowing, it doesn't matter, I can, I can do it. I can do a contract, I can do a harvest, I can do a fertilising or a cultivating job and I can earn that money fairly easily on here. I know I'm, I'm, it's that weird, my mind is playing tricks on me. I'm on here smiling and it's like, oh this is mad, this is crazy. And then when I did my Six Ashes episode, I'm on there thinking, oh, this is, what I, this is what I know, this is what I'm used to, this is where I feel comfortable. My heart's not pounding. And it's a grind. And you know, there, are people, there are people that still prefer more of a grind, you know. And we're back again to, to the point I've made so many times on so many Let's Plays. Is that this game has something for everyone. You can go ultra realistic, or as realistic as the game will allow you can make the game an absolute grind depending on what equipment you use and how you go about doing it you can alleviate some of that grind by utilizing some of the equipment that's available you can alleviate some of that grind by using some of the little tricks of the trade and exploiting in some ways some of the physics of the game and things like that or on a map like this you can go the whole hog the other way and it just become a mad crazy smile fest where you just you know, there is something for everyone. And it's brilliant. I've had a few people asking me, uh, when is FS, whatever it's going to be called. Um, I mean, technically, it could still be FS21. It is 2021, so it could be. When is the next one coming out? I have no idea. I honestly don't know. There may not be... I am mildly concerned at the moment that Giants are going to go down the route that so many other game companies have done. When you look at Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, I loved every release of that. And I played on all of them, right from the very start, top-down Grand Theft Auto. Now, they were talking about GTA 6 coming out, but the problem is with GTA 5 at the moment... They realise very quickly that with microtransactions and releasing DLCs regularly and bringing out all of this extra content, 
it becomes a rolling game. The game does develop, does change slightly, but it's still the original core game. I am slightly concerned that Giants may be doing the same thing in saying to themselves, oh, we've got the platform. Um, let's do the same thing. Let's just, every so many months, bring out a DLC or like Precision Farming, something new. I mean, you think about Precision Farming, it is a bit of a minefield and there are, you know, people are still adamant there's nothing wrong with it and then other people are messaging me saying it's broken and this is wrong and that's wrong and, you know, I'm not getting into the who's right, who's not, or, you know. If FS, if Precision Farming hadn't have come out, but FS21 had been released and the new thing about FS21 was Precision Farming, people would have been, wow, that's amazing, that's really cool, that's a massive change to the game. Add in another crop type or something with a few bits of machinery because I think that's what the game needs and maybe I'm being controversial, I don't know. I think the game needs a new crop but not just one that you can use the regular headers with, you know? You know, they're bringing, I don't know, whatever it might be and then say, okay, well you can still use the regular headers we've got in game. I think we need something, you know, like carrots or onions or, you know, something that requires some new machinery, something a bit different but I am a little bit worried that we might end up going down this route of are we just going to get regular DLC drops for a while? I mean, I could be way off base, but it, you know, and I, I really also understand the fact that Giants have, were waiting for the next gen consoles because what was the point in creating a completely new game to bring out that would run on the old consoles when the new ones were coming out? You know, it, it kind of makes sense. I totally understand why they delayed. So we'll see what happens. But I can't remember how I got on to talking about that in the first place. Doesn't matter. The usual bit of waffling while we're going on. I can't believe just after the next load of this, we will have emptied the entire bunk silo of 2 million litres. Let's have a look in here. The world's gone mad. Absolutely bonkers. Did it to put in a good way? Boom. Let's go again. So what I'll do is get that done. We are making progress forward. You know, again, if you watched my Let's Plays before, you'll know that I don't jump in normally to doing animals, livestock, that kind of thing, without having all my stuff prepped first. I do prefer to prep everything, make sure I've got enough to get the animals going. There's nothing worse than buying them on impulse and then scrabbling around trying to get all the resources you need to feed them. I'd much rather go the other way, prep it all first, um, and then, like I say as well, at the moment I've been leasing gear, I want to get enough money in the bank that I can just say, right, let's buy a cedar and seed tank rig. The Borgo DLC ones are a little bit pricier than the ones that we already had, that were originally the Big Bud ones. Um, and they're not cheap, so... There you go, I just needed to turn earlier. I needed to find the Apex, which I hadn't done before. Drop that down. Let's go again. <laughs> That's where I realise it's gone horribly wrong somewhere. We should get. There we go, and there should be a little bit left over. We were only just over 200, uh, 2 million litres, and that's proven that. Bonkers, bunker, bashing, and bales. Yeah, that's the title. It's got to be in it. Uh, yeah, so uh, what's next? All sorts of stuff. New equipment, bigger cedar, loads of cows. I still haven't started on the factories yet. We need to cut all this. We need to do all the sugar cane. Get one of the factories on the go. I'm going to have a look at the other factories and see. As part of the update that, that has been submitted or is being submitted by TNT. I think it has been. It might have failed testing, potentially. 
I don't, I'm not too sure. I need to message TNT and find out, actually. Um, the potato harvester. There's not a changed potato harvester. There is the beet harvester with a massive um, tank. You know what? It's probably just easier to show rather than talking about it. We're going to here to vehicles and go to potato technology. Nothing's different on that. Uh, but if we go across to or down to beet technology, the beet harvester along here, the large capacity, is 500,000 litres. But what TNT did was put in, under potato technology and tools, a sugar beet harvester header that does potatoes. The problem is the two don't seem to be compatible. A lot of people, because that does say potatoes, but that is a beet header. And I think it was supposed to work with the beet harvester or there was supposed to be a potato harvester in the potato section. I think something went wrong somewhere between the two bits and I'm pretty sure as part of the update that's going to be rectified because that's what I said about doing chips but then everyone said because uh, I needed sunflower oil and I didn't have the sunflower oil factory but I could do that as well I could have three factories so what I might do is get the sunflower oil one it gives me an excuse to do a load of sunflower you know, I can make sunflower oil then do the potatoes put the two together and then have those so I might have three factories in the go potentially again I'm just looking forward to, I want to try out all the stuff that's on here and also doing different crop types so doing sunflower will be nice it'll be a change from other things I do um, and also I like the factory stuff in that on the maps that, this, that it's compatible with again be very careful if you've installed the factories pack the placeable factories pack and you're on a map that doesn't support it, but you've got it installed and selected, it can cause problems with your animals. So you have to be careful. Like I said, on my Seasons one, it caused me a couple of issues. As soon as I deselected it from my available mods on that map, it wasn't a problem after that. There is still the Seasons issue with not being able to use trailers, but that was an update with Seasons, nothing else. So it's just a case of making sure you use the Placeable Factories pack with a map that's compatible with, but I like the fact that in using that, there we go, so we had extra, and 2 million and 21,778 litres cleared in no time. It makes some of the crops more relevant, you know, in, in not just a, I've done sunflower, let's go and sell it, you know, and, and I like that about the factories packs. I just wish they were compatible on more maps. I suppose what it needs is in the base game coding a separate a separate section. So rather than using the animals menu, please don't pull out me, please don't pull out me, you're gonna want you. Yep. Yeah. Rather than the modders having to utilise the animals um, system, which is what they're doing to get it to work, it having in the base game coding a kind of factories system in place in addition to um, and then they could be completely separate systems that would work see that would be something nice to see added you know the fact that we're seeing modders doing it and they're working out ways around to get it to work on console for giants to say okay well in the next evolution of the game let's bring factories to it let's have you know a bit more for people to do with their you know when you look at how snow runner the evolution from mud runner to snow runner and how much more is available to do and you can do on snow runner compared to what you could do on mud runner it's that same thing i'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination there's nothing to do on this game there absolutely is there is tons to do on this game but i just think it's uh it'd be nice to have some new things added that's all I, you know anyway we're done I've got the bales off the field, straws in the silo. The silage that we did the other day, that's fermented, that's out, that's in here. Next up is going to be mowing and tedding, which I'm hopefully going to be able to do that at a slightly faster speed. It's going to depend whether I can... Yeah, I don't know if I can get the mower and the tedder to both do it. Hmm, we will see. We'll see what I can get away with. I might just have to do a pass with the mower, then a pass with the tether, both at slightly faster speeds to be able to do it, potentially. Uh, fertilising should be done on field three, so what I'm going to do is get up there with the seed, uh, probably now. And when they get, maybe oats, or I did barley last time, maybe wheat up in there. So I can get some more straw. I want to just make sure I've got 
plenty of everything to be able to do plenty of everything. Uh, what's yeah? So that'll be next then. Hey, get that done. And I've got a contract harvest to do on what field was it? Harvest on field fifty-five. Then I've got a sowing contract on field ninety. So I'm considering seeing what I get for that harvesting contract then buying my new sewing equipment and maybe having a crack at field four because with the really big sewing equipment I could knock that out fairly quickly maybe that's the plan uh, I hope you've enjoyed it the madness continues if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching